Hi there, namaste. Welcome to this 30 minute morning yoga session in which we will be practicing three major components of any yoga practice. Surya Namaskar, Asanas and Pranayam. So now without further ado, let's begin the practice. Let us sit comfortably in Sukh Asan, crossing our legs, keeping the back straight. We'll start the session with a warming breath work. It's a pranayam called Bhastrika. Now Bhastrika is done like this. With inhale, you will raise your hands up higher and with exhale, you will bring it down. And this is an active inhale and exhale, forceful like this. In case you feel any tension on your shoulder or neck while moving the hands, you can bring your hands in Chin Mudra and do the same thing. But if you have hypertension, any concern with the back, abdominal region, if your nose is blocked, for females, if you're pregnant or if you are on periods, you will avoid this and you will do only abdominal region breathing, which is you will inhale, abdomen will come out, you will exhale, abdomen will go in. So now let's begin the session. We will do only one round of it for a minute. Let's keep the back straight and begin together. And relax. We'll bring our hands in Chinna Mudra, eyes closed, observing all the sensations. Going ahead for five deep inhale and exhale. And gently opening your eyes with a few blinks. Wonderful. Let's begin with our warm up now. We will take the hands by the side. Stretch your hands as much as we can. Shoulders will be away from your ears. We'll do side bends of our neck. So look forward, inhale. Exhale, taking your right ear to the right shoulder. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, left ear to the left shoulder. Let's keep going. Two. Three. Four. Five. Wonderful, that was for our neck. Let's go for the wrist. Take the hands forward, thumb inside, cover it with all the fingers. Let's go for the rotations. As your knuckles are moving up, inhale. As you're moving them down, exhale. Let's keep going. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let's reverse it, five, four, three, two, one. Relaxing your hands down, let's take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale out, bringing your fingers to the shoulders, relaxing your elbows down. 
And now with me, join your elbows in the front. Inhale, raise the elbows up. Exhale, bringing it down. Let's keep going. Two. Three. Four. Five. We'll reverse it. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Wonderful. Relaxing your hands. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's open the legs wide. We'll go ahead for a 90-90 stretch. Let's take the support with our hands and take it in a way that you can keep your back as tall as you can. Now, feet are apart. Inhale together with me. And then exhale, gently dropping your both the knees down to the right. Inhale, bring your knees back and pull your hip back. Then exhale to the left. Once again, inhale, pull the hip back. Second round, right. Inhale. Exhale, left. Keep going. Three. Four. Our last round. Five. And then gently bring yourself back. Now from here, let us get ourselves into a tabletop position. Meaning bringing your wrist exactly below the shoulders and knees exactly below the hips. Keep your fingers open wide and we will press it from all the corners. Now we'll go ahead for cat and cow, arching the back with inhale, rounding the back with exhale. Let's go for it together. Inhale, arch your back and gently look up. Exhale, round. Keep going. Two. Three. Four. Five. Relaxing your spine, let's go ahead for the next asana, which is going to be your thread the needle. For thread the needle, first let us take the left hand slightly forward. Now with me, raise your right hand up, inhale, and then exhale, taking your right hand to the left side, resting your right shoulder down, head down, and see if you can twist your torso, trying to look up. Once again, inhale, right hand goes up, exhale, you will take it to the other side. Let's keep going. Three. Four. Last one. Five. And then gently bring your hands back in line with your shoulders. Time to take your right hand slightly ahead. We'll take now the left hand up. Inhale. Exhale. The left hand goes to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Four. Five. And then gently bring your hands back. Once again, make sure you're here only in the tabletop. From here, we are going ahead for pedaling. So you will take your toes in now. And from here, you will be pushing yourself back into downward facing dog by keeping your knees slightly bent. 
And then one by one, we'll press the heels down. Let's get yourself here. Push the shoulders and the hips back nicely. Let's begin pedaling. One. Breathing in and out. Two. Three. Four. Five. And relax your knees down. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. And then gently bring yourself up. Let us come up and stand up. Now we'll be moving on to our Surya Namaskar. We are practicing Ashtanga Vinyasa Type A Sun Salutation. In one round, we have in total nine steps. First round will go slightly slower. From the second one, we'll pick up the pace. Let's come to the beginning of your mat. Feet slightly apart. And now both the palms together in Namaste and stretch your arms towards the ceiling, looking at your thumbs. Inhale. With exhale, we will start to bend forward. So you can have your knees slightly bent initially. Try and touch the ground with your fingertips. Exhale. And then coming onto your fingertips, straightening your back as much as we can. Inhale and look forward. Now exhale, taking your right leg back, left leg back. And I need you to come into plank position. Check your wrist should be exactly below the shoulders and your hip should be almost in line with the hip. Right. Now from here, you have two options. One is you will go for Chaturanga Dandasana like this or you will take your knees, chest and chin down. So now from here, let's inhale first and then exhale, lower yourself halfway and then lie down completely on your abdomen. Two options, one is Bhujangasana, like this, or you can come fully in upward facing dog. Coming here, and then exhale, moving back into downward facing dog, pushing your hips back, shoulders back. Now, in a classical way, we hold here for five breaths. Right now, we will not be holding. From here, let us take the right leg forward, left leg forward on your fingertips. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, pressing your palms by the side of your feet with knees bent or straight. And then inhale, raise your arms up, looking at your thumbs. Exhale, hands by the side. Samasthiti, that was your first round. Now you can scale down while we were doing the Chaturanga Dandasana or Ashtanga Namaskar or Bhujangasana or Upward Facing Dog. So you can choose that. Let's go for the second round. Inhale, raising your arms up. Exhale, leaning forward, down. Inhale on your fingertips, straighten the back and look forward. Exhale, moving back into the plank position. Inhale, choose the one that works best. Exhale, lower yourself. And then inhale, bring yourself up. Exhale, moving back into downward facing dog. We're not holding it here. Let us take the right leg forward. Left leg forward on your fingertips. Straighten your back and look forward. Inhale. Exhale, pressing your palms down. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, relax. Let's go for a round three. Inhale. Exhale, leaning forward down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, get yourself in the plank position. Inhale. Exhale, lower yourself. Inhale, up. Exhale, moving back in the downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg forward, left leg forward on your fingertips, straightening your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale and raising your arms up. Exhale, relax. Now let's go ahead for our fourth round. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, leaning forward down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plank position. Inhale. Exhale, halfway. Inhale. Upward or Bhujangasana. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Look forward. Exhale. Pressing your palms down. 
Inhale, raise your arms up, and then exhale, relax. Now we'll be going ahead for our fifth round. Let's go for it. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, back. Inhale. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Now, inhale, taking your right leg forward, left leg forward, look forward. Exhale, pressing your palms down. Inhale, raising your arms up. Exhale, relax. Wonderful, everyone. Here we are done with our Surya Namaskar as well. Let's move on to our third component, which is asanas. We'll go for asanas now. And the first asana is, is Prasarit Paduttanasana C. Now, for Prasarit Paduttanasana C, let us open the legs wide. Make sure the toes are towards me and slightly in. Heels slightly out. We'll do a forward fold here, but we'll interlock our palms like this at the back, behind. But just for you to understand, if you feel comfortable with your shoulders, press the base of your palm together. If you do not feel comfortable, then keep the base of your palm separate. That way, you will feel comfortable with your shoulder. So let's take the hands behind, open the shoulders and the chest, interlocking your palms. Inhale. With exhale, let us start to bend forward. Let the hands be moving up to the ceiling, trying to look back to the tip of your nose and stay here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Gently bring yourself up, inhale. Exhale, release your hands and bring your both the legs closer. Perfect. So that was your Prasarit Padutanasana C. Moving on to our next asana now. For this also, we will open up our legs. So make sure you open the legs like this. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, turning your right toe to the right. And from here, both the palms on the hips. Make sure your torso is facing exactly towards me. The left toe can be either towards me or slightly diagonal, whichever works. Let's bring the palms here, inhale. And then exhale, starting to slide your right palm. If you feel it's becoming challenging and the shoulder is sinking, you can have your palm below the right knee or else bring it to the middle part of the shin or else you bring it to the ankle, whichever works. Now open the torso nicely. If you feel comfortable, take your hand up or else maintain it here. Let's be here for five. One, breathing in and out. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then gently bring yourself up, inhale. Let's turn the right toe towards me, left toe to the left side. Doing the same thing, inhale, exhale. Sliding the left palm wherever you feel comfortable and staying here for five. One, two, three, Four, five, and then gently bring yourself up, inhale, exhale, bringing your both the legs closer, wonderful. Now from here, let us all bring ourselves down on the mat, we'll be going ahead for a hip opener, Uttana Prashtasana, also called as lizard pose. Make sure you are here in the tabletop right now. And from here, let us take the right foot to the outside of your right palm. Let us take the left leg a little bit more back. 
you're already in the position right now, but if you feel comfortable, you can give it a try to take your left forearm down. And if you still feel comfortable, you can even go with the right. Let's be here. One, breathing in and out. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then gently bring your both the palms back up. Taking your right leg back. Time to take your left foot outside of your left palm, driving the right leg back. Inhale. And then exhale, lowering your both the forearms. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then gently bringing your both palms back, taking your left leg back. Let's take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale, let us lie down on our abdomen. Take a deep breath, inhale here once again. Now we are going ahead with Sarpasana. For Sarpasana, we will take our hands behind and we'll try and interlock the palms. Again, the same thing. If you feel it's becoming too much for the shoulders, Keep the base of your palms away from each other. If you feel it's comfortable, bring the base of your palms closer. And from here, you will lift yourself as high as possible. That's it. So let's go for it together now. Take the hands behind, interlock your palms, and then pull yourself up. Make sure the abdominal muscles are strong right now. Be here. One, breathing in and out. Two. Three, four, five. And then gently releasing the hands. You can take the forehead down and hands behind your head. Staying here for three. One, two, three. Gently move the palms by the side of your ribcage and we'll move back into Balasana, child's position, taking your forehead down. You can even keep your palms below the forehead if you see the hips going too much up away from the heel. One, two, three, four, Five. And gently lifting your head up. Slowly bring yourself back. Let us stretch the legs to the side now. We're going ahead for a twist. And the twist is Vakrasana. You will take your right foot to the outside of your left thigh. And you will be hugging your right knee with the left palm. Left knee is going to the left armpit. Sorry, right knee is going to the left armpit. And then the right hand is going back and we are twisting. Let's do it together. Make sure the right foot is outside of your left thigh. Hugging the knee and then twist. Staying here. One. Maintaining the left toe active. Two. Three. Four. Five. Gently bringing yourself back. Let's take the left foot out to the right. Hugging your knee and then twist. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then slowly bring yourself back. Let us stretch the legs forward and lie down on your back. From here, we'll be going ahead for Setu Bandhasana.
तो सेतु बंदासना लेट अस टेक द हैंड्स बिहाइंड ओवर द हेड बेंडिंग योर नीज कीपिंग देम हिप विथ द पार्ट एंड देन जेंटली स्टार्टिंग टू लिफ्ट योर हिप एज हाई एज पॉसिबल टाइटनिंग योर ग्लूट्स स्टेइंग हियर फॉर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर five and then gently relaxing your hips down stretching your legs forward time to go ahead for our last asana and this is going to be a variation of jathar parivartan asana so we'll hug both of our knees in apan asana first and then from here let us take both the knees down to the right side bring yourself back taking your knees to the other side one two three four five gently bring your legs back and now let us straighten your both the legs both the palms slightly away from the body we are going ahead for shavasana legs are shoulder width apart toes falling down hands by the side of your body palms facing up chin slightly closer to the chest eyes closed let's loosen up our body on the mat completely to relax our body and mind at a deeper level we'll go ahead for humming breath let's keep the lips together teeth slightly apart tip of the tongue to the upper palate let's inhale together now you can stop the humming breath let's go ahead for five long inhale and exhale Your body and mind are now completely relaxed. Gently bringing yourself to the body consciousness. Starting to move your toes, your fingers. 
bring your legs closer bend your knees taking a turn to the side staying here for a breath and then gently bring yourself back and sit in a comfortable position with your back straight Let us express our gratitude for our body, mind, and soul. For everyone who you love, who makes a difference in your life, and to all the energies that have made it possible for you to be able to spend this time with yourself. And now let us settle down the energies with Omkar Shanti. Bring your palms to heart space. Inhale. Om Shanti 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 starting to rub your palms. Bring good amount of warmth in your palms. Bringing your palms to your face, energizing yourself. Looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, my dear friend. So we are at the end of our today's session. Now, this is a 30-minute morning yoga session that you can do every single day if you want to stick to only this session. Otherwise, I have many sessions on my YouTube channel which you can practice on a daily basis. Do let me know in the comment section how did you find this session and on what topic would you like me to bring another session. If you are interested in losing weight, then you can also explore my 30-day yoga for weight loss challenge. It's already there on my YouTube channel. And I will also leave the link in the description. I'll see you in my next session very soon. Until then, you take care. Bye-bye. Namaste.